get asked all the time, how do I get seen on LinkedIn? How do I get noticed because my engagement sucks? I'm getting like six likes and getting three views and people are just going, how, how do I fix this? And how, what would be your kind of number one that you would do to fix anything on LinkedIn? I'm, I'm quite a bore, actually. It, it's consistency. It's it's creating a strategy and creating a content calendar. You know, we, we've said it, we, we want to make biz, uh, our post uh, business related, fun, a yeah. uh, bit of personal journey and stuff like that. Maybe something you're reading. But the reality is it, it's a consistency, yeah. it's visual. We, we've had it uh, just recently, someone said, you're, you're one of our guys works with us, says your bosses are chasing us around the internet. The reality, we're not. We're actually, ha we're working at a strategy yeah. that allows us to shoot content a bit, a bit like this and start to put it in a consistent way. Uh, same time every week, we, Christopher and I have an equipment to post every day. And that's not for everybody. The reality is we obviously we were a lot more comfortable with it, but I would always encourage people to get a content uh, strategy and a content calendar and then go to work. Yeah, and from one post a day, it might seem like you've just got one bullet to use every single day, but there's more bullets you can use at the same time. So whenever it comes to posting anything on LinkedIn, before you even post that post, get maybe 10 minutes before that to set a little engagement up. So start liking and commenting on other posts. You know, that will kind of trigger things for you to get noticed a bit more on the, on the platform. On top of that, endorse a couple of people. When's the last time you've ever endorsed people? How many you're massive into like wishing people happy birthdays? Every day. New jobs and things again. It, it, it's something that it, LinkedIn make this so easy. It's really, really, there's no excuse. It's like, um, but there's guys every day either celebrating a birthday, mm -hmm. an anniversary, they've got a new job, and LinkedIn actually make the little post for you. And I just add their name yeah. a little bit over and go every day, boom, 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 all the best. Hope it really works out. Mm -hmm. Then, more often than not, whether it be eight out of ten, people go, thanks, Henry. That's right. I'm now on their radar, whether it's anniversary, job, or birthday, or whatever. Yeah. And then I, if, if we've got a wee bit of engagement, as Christopher says, engage, engage, engage. Treat your LinkedIn relationships the way you would do in the physical. Yeah. And start having a conversation. Loved your post. This is what I got from it. Light it up. Yeah, so that's a class way to kind of pre-prime LinkedIn so it knows about you and people will know about you as well before you do that little post. Then post your post. After your post, don't just jump off the platform and say, right, job done, I've, I've posted my post for today. Spend maybe another 10 minutes, send a couple of DMs, a couple of PMs to people, and a little comment here and there, and just sprinkle the place with love bombs. That's what we are massive advocates of, yeah. is that you add value everywhere you can go, because you never know where that little piece of value will take your business or take your comment. Yeah, people would say to me all the time, I don't know what to um, post. I would say, okay, you're in business, you have a stack, yeah. What, what is your journey? How did you start up? How did you, what was the, the engagement employing your first employee? And we all know there's all those things. What books are you reading? What audible, what has struck you this week from an auto, audible perspective or the book reading perspective? What you've learned? All those things are absolutely fantastic content. Yeah. But for some reason, we're blinded. We have to say something really, really yeah. earth moving, which most of life is not. And whether you've come back from something, you know, you've, you've bounced back from a setback or relationally or business or whatever, that's content because we've all, we've all got war wounds. We've all got stuff to share. And it's taken the Northern Honor, we are absolutely rubbish at this no. uh, because we're this so we, you know, we're just, we're just, stupid um get the stuff out there and get a strategy whether it be personal motivational um business related or fun mm -hmm. so we work with huge public bodies right down to small uh, mom and pop shops and it's the same problems the same issues in every single business from the smallest ones right to the biggest ones so many people get paralyzed by what they're going to post and they get afraid about what they're going to post and for us just listen to what henry had said there is that post things that about you post things that are about your business and just add value. Share little kind of behind the scenes elements of what you do, far side chats, and bring people in that are maybe competitors as well in and just have chats, bring a bit of content, a bit of life inside your posts. And don't be so focused all the time on selling and pitching and pushing and stuff. Try and make it fun. Or what other people think. See, in reality, it genuinely does matter. See if it's a rubbish post, slurred. 
Yeah. Okay, so we're going to cut short there. And I'm Chris. I'm Henry. And we'll catch you on the next...